Well, students are surprised because they know him and he's biracial. According to police charging documents, Arthur told investigators he felt that there was something wrong with him. Mobile crisis responded. After an evaluation, the team determined that he was not a danger to himself. Police say thin author confessed to writing racially charged graffiti. Some classmates find it hard to believe because they know him. I'm still shocked. Uh, right now I'm just processing everything with friends and like my community here. Investigators told Arthur they could electronically place him at both crime scenes. The FBI assisted county police with a handwriting expert. The first graffiti incident took place November 14th, the other on November 29th. Both incidents involved very threatening, hateful, racist language targeting specific members of our college community, either by where they lived or by their names. Testimony during his bail review indicates Arthur wrote his own name in the graffiti. According to police charging documents, when asked why he would do something like that, he replied that he has a lot of built up anger and no way to vent on campus. When asked what caused him to commit the second graffiti incident, he replied he had been drinking and just did something dumb. Arthur's parents told the judge this behavior is totally out of character. The judge, I'm not sure I understand this case. Is he clamoring for attention? Parents, we're surprised by this. He has not exhibited this type of behavior. The first incident inspired solidarity demonstrations. Students called it a blackout. Now students want assurances. The culture of the school will change and are anxious to put this behind them. This is finals. We're very close to finals week, so a lot, a lot of people are stressed, and this is just one, one extra thing to add on to their mind. Arthur faces two charges of malicious destruction of property. He has no priors. The judge released him on his own recognizance to his parents. The school has banned him from campus. They will hold a disciplinary hearing on the case. Reporting live from Goucher College in Towson, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.